Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving a electricity problem. Um, this problem is for both HL and SL students. The question is about a thermistor circuit. The circuit shows a negative temperature coefficient thermistor X and a 100 kilo ohm fixed resistor R connected across a battery. The battery has an electromotive force of 12 volt and knowledgeable internal resistance. Define electromotive force. So the first one is testing about definition, and this is very typical in paper two question. So make sure that you understand important concept. Um, so electromotive force is defined as the work done, the work done per unit charge. In moving a quantity of charge oops in a circuit so this is the definition of Electromotive force. You can also write this definition in another form. You can say electromotive force is the power delivered per unit current. Per unit current. Or you can also say is the work done per unit charge by a available source. Per unit charge by a source. So all those three answers are fine. The graph shows the variation with time t of resistor Rx of the thermistor. Determine the temperature of X when the potential difference is 4.5 volt. Uh, so this problem is a little bit hard. It requires you to uh, do multiple steps to obtain the answer. So let's see how this works. So we want to know the potential difference uh, sorry, we want to determine the temperature x when the potential difference uh, is 4.5 volt. And here we have a graph of temperature versus resistance. So if you want to know temperature, we need to know the resistance of resistor x. And how can we do this? So let's go back to the circuit. We know the resistance of this resistor here of this fixed resistor we also know the electromotive force of the circuit and we also know the potential difference across this fixed resistor which is equal to 4.5 volt so what we can know is the potential difference across this resistor x as well so resist sorry potential difference across resistor x is equal to electromotive force minus potential difference across resistor r which is equal to 12 minus 4.5 volt this is equal to 7.5 volt so we know the potential difference across this resistor is equal to 7.5 volt well, we also know the potential difference here, and we know the resistor here. And because those two resistors are connected in series, they're going to have the same amount of current from supplied by the power source. So if here is I, across the resistor here is also I, and across here will also be I. So I is going to be equal to 5.5 volt divided by the resistance here which is equal to 100 kilo ohm convert that to ohm you're gonna times 1000 right so this is gonna be equal to the current so we can also calculate the current here so current is equal to the potential difference across resistor r divided by current which is equal to 5.4 volt divided by 100 multiply by 1000 ohm and this is gonna give us the answer of so i'm gonna write this in this form 
this is equal to 4.5 multiplied by 10 with the power of negative 5 ampere. So this is a current. Um, so now we can determine the resistance of resistor X. So resistance of resistor X is equal to the potential difference of resistor X divided by current, which is equal to 5.5 ohm divided by 4.5 multiply by 10 with the power of negative 5 and this is equal to 1.67 multiply by 5 with the power of 5 uh, multiply by 10 with the power of 5 and you can convert that to kilo ohm since here is expressed in kilo ohm and this will be equal to 167 kilo ohm and now we can determine the temperature. So let me zoom in this picture. 160, 170, 118, 190. So this is 160. Right. Approximately here. So 20, 32, maybe 34, 36, 38, and 40. So 6... 60 167 kilo ohm is somewhere between in the middle so the answer will be 30 negative 37 degrees celsius so now we know the answer according to the graph Temperature is equal to negative 37 degrees Celsius. State the range of temperature for which the resistance of the thermostat, thermostat is most sensitive to changes in temperature. So for this one, you can determine the range by simply looking at the graph. So we know the resistance starts to change when temperature is equal to negative 50. Right, and until here, it has a very steep gradient, which you can almost model by a linear function. So this will be the range in which the thermistor is most sensitive. So the answer will be negative 50 degrees Celsius to negative 30 degrees Celsius. Stay and explain the effect of a decrease in temperature on the ratio. So for this one, you need to think about how is it going to affect the potential difference of the thermistor. So as temperature decreases, uh, the resistance, the resistance of the thermistor going to increase. So R, Rx is going to increase. And from here, we know the total resistance, total resistance, which is equal to Rx plus R is going to increase this as well. And this tells us that current I, current I, going to decrease this. And because the resistance of R here is fixed, the potential difference of both the potential difference of the fixed resistor must also decreases right so vr is equal to i multiplied by r decreases because the current here decreases and from here we know that the potential potential difference of resistor x must increases because it's equal to 12 uh, minus the potential difference across resistor R. And because resistor R decreases, the potential difference across resistor R, uh, potential difference across resistor X must increases. Um, then the, the, the ratio here, the ratio here will also increase because the voltage across X increases while the voltage across R decreases. So the ratio increases.